starts right now. The guy just hit my car from the side. He was in a car that was like the windows were busted out. We begin with team coverage tonight of a dramatic high-speed chase that ended in a crash and lasted about an hour. It also put hundreds and hundreds of drivers all across San Antonio in danger. It began on the south side near I-35 and Division, zigzagged onto I-10, then 1604, wound up on Northwest Military on the far north side. That's where News 4 San Antonio's Amanda Weber begins our team coverage tonight. Amanda? Randy, this is the last turn the suspect took before plowing off a cliff. Police chased his car off the road. San Antonio police say they saw a driver pointing a gun at a passenger inside a car this morning near Roosevelt and Presa on the city's south side. They tried to pull the car over and a chase started. When we choose to pursue someone, we versus the we, we, we weigh the risk uh, involved versus the need to apprehend. This person needed to be apprehended. The driver took police on several major freeways, at one point driving on the median of the highway and in the wrong direction. Police say he also tried several times to stop for gas. He also tried twice to carjack other people, succeeding one time and getting shot by police while doing it. When the officer fired his weapon, that suspect, that suspect was trying to run him over after he carjacked uh, the, the person at Brook. Police continued the chase. The suspect pulled onto Northwest Military where he ended up in this quarry, crashing into a patrol car. And the suspect tells me they, the suspect was taken from here, treating for a gunshot wound. I just got off the phone with San Antonio police. They tell me they cannot release his name because he has not been magistrated or formally charged. But they do tell me he is facing a laundry list of charges, including aggravated assault on a police officer and evading arrest. We're live tonight from the north side. Amanda Weber, News 4, San Antonio. Thanks, Amanda. And we're now getting a better idea of just what happened right before that carjacking Amanda mentioned. Yeah, we're told he actually took that four-door Mazda from a credit union off Southeast Military Drive near Brooks City Base. Our Kristen Leon is live to continue our team coverage tonight. Kristen? Delane, Randy, yeah, it's crazy how a majority of it took place right here in this area, in this small lot here. Now, I'm told from witnesses that the suspect ended up going into a convenience store not too far from here, and that's when he was asking for money there, didn't get it to gas up his car. He darted over, to, over here to the Federal Credit Union where he ended up taking that Mazda. Some say it was like a heist out of an action movie. The cops was right on him, nailing him but they couldn't catch him. Others tell News 4 whatever was going on, they were just afraid of getting caught in the crossfire. The guy just hit my car from the side. He was in a car that was like the windows were busted out. It was like a boom. I got hit harder than what my car looks like. It was a chase that led police to this gas station. Witnesses say a Hispanic man, about six feet tall with tattoos covering his body, went inside the convenience store and asked them for money. He came in the Mercedes van. He needed $3 to so put gas in it. I told him I didn't have it. He asked another customer the same thing. When he saw the cops, he just panicked and took off. They say that's when he ran off across the lot to Alamo Federal Credit Union and carjacked someone at the drive-thru. Police told us one of the officers shot and hit the suspect before he left. It was such a small space here where he was at, and it was over like 10 police cars. How he was getting away, I don't understand. Now, if you look close enough, you can see what looks like another nozzle stuck inside the opening of the car's gas tank. Those around at the time say they just wanted to stay as far away as possible before someone else got hurt. Now, thankfully, no one was severely hurt here, and we're told from witnesses there were about nine to ten patrol cars, at least in this area. Now, as far as that carjacking, carjacking victim, we're told that he will be okay. Live on the southeast side this evening, Kristen Leo, News 4, San Antonio. All right, Kristen, thank you. New details now on a